is breaking news from the 7 Action Newsroom. Well, this will grab your attention. A giant sinkhole opens up swallowing part of a Detroit road. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is live on the city's west side. Julie, astounding pictures. <laughs> what happened? Do we know? Oh, this is amazing. We do. But before we get to that part, I need to show you. See this caution tape right here? We were just told maybe about 10 minutes ago we had to move our live trucks back. We were originally by the yellow tape that's closer to the hole, but the Detroit Water and Sewage Department is afraid that it's going to cave in even more because they're noticing more problems underneath. So why don't we show you some of the video from Chopper 7. Just as amazing as this looks on TV, I'm telling you, this is how it looks in person. This sinkhole is 30 by 30 feet wide and 16 feet deep. That's right, 16 feet deep, 30 by 30 feet. Now, the department, the director of the Detroit Water and Sewage says that a contractor was doing routine maintenance out here earlier. He was working on the water pipes and he noticed that there was something wrong. He noticed some corrosion and then he noticed some erosion with the soil. And that's when they said that the road, it just literally started to open up on him. Now, there's an eight inch water main that also collapsed in there. So that's adding to the problem. And we were talking to people out here who couldn't believe it because a lot of them have been walking around here. I mean, their homes over here, there are a few vacant buildings. But this road, Linwood and Monterey, widely used. And we talked with one man who said that he was driving over that area not too long before it just collapsed. That's, that could have been um, a real tragic situation if someone would have um, been driving there when that collapsed. Actually, I drove over that this morning. About an hour later, it fell in. And nobody was hurt during this. Nobody fell in. Uh, no cars were fell in. Nobody was injured. So just an amazing, astounding pictures out here. And we were, again, I, we were closer to the hole, but we had to move back for our own safety. Now, the water department says they will have somebody out here around the clock to make sure nobody gets too close, nobody falls in, and nothing else happens. They do not have a timeline yet for when they expect this to be complete because there are so many layers that have to get fixed here. We're live from Detroit, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. Okay, Julie, thank you.